Box. Rational Geographic. There are many species on planet Earth. Hundreds of them. Thousands of them. Hundreds of thousands. Thousands of thousands. Hundreds of thousands of millions. Millions and millions of them. But only one of them is capable of rational thought. Don't tell me. Human beings. That's right. Today in Rational Geographic. Adolescents. Hello, I'm Bob. The human species is disagreeable by nature. That being said, there's a period in their lives when this effect is even more pronounced. Human beings have a name for this. They call it adolescence. Would you like a second helping of bees, sweetie honey? Why did you say that? Are you saying that I'm fat and I'll never get a boyfriend? I hate you, Mom! During adolescence, humans lose the ability to communicate face to face. They can only communicate by telephone. And so then Kevin, like, looked at me, but he didn't, like, see me. So Shyla saw him, because he's totally looking at Kevin, because I saw her. And then I looked around at Kevin, but Kevin wasn't looking at me. He was looking at Shyla. Kevin is, like, totally hot, you know? Yeah, 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 that's all great. But tell me, did you want pepperoni on that pizza or what? What? Are you calling me fat? I hate you, stupid pizza person. During puberty, humans undergo a series of radical changes, which manifest themselves in different ways. Pimples on their faces, orthodontic braces, an unsightly growth of fluff on the upper lip among boys, or an unsightly growth of fluff on the upper lip among girls. But it's very easy to distinguish between males and females because the females suddenly develop bumps on their chests, which among human beings are known as boobies. And it's these chest bumps that first cause human males to experience a feeling that will stay with them throughout their lives. An unhealthy obsession with sex. See you, Mom. I hate you. <laughs> See you in the next episode of Rational Geographic. You oh, ah! No rational animal was harmed during the making of this documentary. Well, just a few.